Need armor nine, <laughs> and he's playing chaos so he doesn't get armor nine. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, Batman. Yeah, I'm Batman. They qualified, didn't they? Oh, it's the Red Joker. Ah, <laughs> he's got a he's got a pommer. <laughs> he's got five guard, so he's got it and a dirty player. So he's got a fucking shot. Twelve players. Casbox. Ten one one. Magic Dome. Don't know who's at home. Don't know how to tell that. <laughs> Hello, Red Joker. Um, <laughs> I miss this spin just to avoid us. <laughs> yeah, it's not the sort of team that anybody would want to play, I don't think. Really? Even though it's not as good as it could be. Um, 4 DP Merc Linox. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, Shawnee, no. <laughs> One time you don't know that's nine. Yeah. It's funny that your teams need AV9, but don't have AV9 this game. Well, three of them a turn don't. Oh, the bribe. Statement of intent. Statement of intent. Um, I don't know, TLC, but 100, 100 subs will get the... Batman Dark Elves back. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe you should just <laughs> not spend anything. <laughs> no inducements, I think. My advice would be don't spend any inducements like that guy with the Chaos Dwarves. <laughs> and just just dice fuck out of us <laughs> yeah it's, well, I, I think um, I think Var Varag is pretty decent but Ripper's just so much better value uh, yeah I'd, I'd say Ripper's the best choice by a mile just a hundred subs total TLC. If we hit a hundred subs, get an extra, get an extra emote, and then uh, that'd be pretty good. I think I would have taken Ripper there and not not the Wizard, but obviously Wiz Wizard's good. Um, yeah, if you compare Varad to Hubris, he's terrible. But you know, you you can't you can't have Hubris on a dark, on an orc team, can you? So, but I think Ripper's Ripper's just so much better than Varag. But, um, so I, he's not I don't think Varag's bad though I've taken him before I have taken him before I think <laughs> but to take him you've got to have Ripper and Varag haven't you so it's so yeah it's pretty much only Ripper to be fair ah they actually saved that right and then the sure hands guy can just go on the bench that's the good thing about taking the show hands first, because the the wrestler would have the dirty player would have to go on the line or, or whatever, wouldn't he? Uh, yeah, the dirty player. Or the wrestle on the line and the dirty player back. Whereas now he gets to I mean that's all you need for a carrier, isn't it, with chaos really? Just a fucking show hands chump. Maybe block, I guess. To protect against the uh war dancers a bit more. But not a lot. <laughs> well, Red Joke, it's not it's not dead yet. Um, how many subs are on? I'll I'll tell you, TLC. What like eighty odd it was, but it fluctuates because you know what's it called? Obviously, sometimes people don't resub 
Like sometimes people cancel their subs, I guess. But mostly it's Prime, I guess, because Prime doesn't renew automatically, does it? So I guess lose some from the Prime ones is the, is the main is the main source of losing subs because uh, people don't just don't think about re re subbing with Prime. In my experience, DP doesn't count as CPOM for shit. It can though. It can, and it depends. It depends what happens, doesn't it? It certainly the threat of it is better than not having the threat of it. I have, uh, you know, plenty of games. Your opponent's got a bribe and a dirty player, and it makes you reluctant to pile on. So it can have like a, a passive effect, like having a wizard has, doesn't it? So, you know, oh, it's my kick. Underworld can it be viable? It depends how you how you define viable. <laughs> um, you know, min maxed low TV, they're pretty good, but then min max teams aren't as good in champs ladder due to the the wild matchups you can get. Uh, okay, well, trying to look at my d dashboard here. Oh yeah, like if, obviously the the perfect chaos ball carry would be eight three four eight with blood sure hands, and that would be really fucking good to have. But just having sure hands is is fine, isn't it? He does he does the job for cheap. It's all it's all you need. It's the bare minimum you need. Oh, 95 subs at the moment, so I need five more subs, five more subs for an elf team of some description. No turns with eleven players. Great. <laughs> yeah, it blocks your hands if I say eighty five percent most of the time, yeah. yeah. That's true. Could have like a Jim Foul emote or something at uh, at a hundred subs. They, they they've made the subs much better now. The sub rewards because before the rewards were like proper bad. It was like you got an extra emote at a hundred, and then like four more at two hundred or something. Whereas now they they've like staggered it out so you get an extra emote every twenty five and stuff. So there's some good potential for emotes. Bill Clawpon. Um Pom Ward answer, yeah. I had a Pom <laughs> I've had a Pom High Elf catcher. <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking if I obviously blitzing this guy would be really nice. But the pile the follow up would be here in no man's land, wouldn't it? Piling on into here I could protect him a little bit. But then I can't reach. So maybe I just blitz him with Claw Mighty Blow. Then how do I get the guards in? Not easy, is it? Maybe just blitz him. Oh, glorious! Dr. Mama Bosco, thank you very much. VIP Dr. Mama Bosco, right? Hey. Need AV9. Um, okay, let me just do this. Put the claw more central. Yeah, I think a pile on there would have been really risky. Not that I could get there anyway. Um, welcome to Team Fantastic, the freak. And thank you very much, Dr. Orlovsky.
Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. If yeah, yeah, I would give Woody's. I would give Woody's a fair shake. I would. I would definitely give Woody's a fair shake. Glorious. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thor. Welcome to Team Fantastic, Titus Lucretius Carus. Thank you very much, Thor. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, two, two more, two more will be, or oh, three more, whatever it is. Three more, isn't it? Three more, I think. <laughs> Alright, oh, he only blitzed. <laughs> Didn't didn't insta re-roll it like all the corp on fuckheads. <laughs> I was I was a bit confused. I mean this is this is good play here by Red Joker. I'm not just saying that because he's in chat. But you know he's staying compact, isn't he? Um and any pile on, like if I was to blitz with pile on, I could blitz here with pile on, but then I'd be pretty much exposed. I couldn't reach there anyway. I could pile on there. But I'd be completely exposed, so just having to go for these uh, these claw mighty blow hits rather than a uh, claw palm. Thank you very much, Dr. Mama Vasco. Wow, you're really a fan of Wood Owls, eh? <laughs> and uh, welcome to Team Fantastic, Yuri Styles. Thank you, thank you very much, Dr. Mama Vasco. I've got to do the wall of guard now because I'm exposing the claw, right? Two to go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it, and I'll do it on the tenth of Jan. I'll, I'll give it a proper go. I'll fucking, I'll really will. Because my plan now is to fucking grind a lot this week, so that I can take it easy next week, and then, uh, so I'll be refreshed, ready to fucking hit it strong at the start of the next season, and then. Um, and then I'll go back to Germany, like move to Germany in fact, because I've just been on there on holidays, haven't I, before. Glorious! <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough, Dr. Mavoska. <laughs> I would have to be a massive cunt complain. I would, I would find a way though. I would find a way to complain while using Woody. He's fallen the claw hit. So that's interesting, isn't it? Good position of my claw there. Um, not to blow on my own trumpet, but that's a dodge in a GFI. Always getting hit by claw, isn't it? Um, play some poker. Thank you, Last Frog Man. I don't know who the Zeepo is. Uh, it wasn't as instantly recognisable as Mia Khalifa, etc. But... Uh, Glorious. Um, ah, interesting. I shall reply to that PM. 
forthwith. But um, thank you very much, Lads Frogman, and welcome to Team Fantastic, the Zippo, whoever you are. <laughs> the NAF, not really Wolf Bar. Not really, I don't really, not really, but the thing is, see, I want to promote, I want to promote it, right? I want to promote the, uh, the fucking NAF League. But, you know, obviously I'm playing Champs Ladder all the time, it's fucking hard to get the games in to promote it. So, um, yeah, that, that's the problem there. It's just literally getting the games in. To uh, you, so so th this is another reason to just go for this, you know, fucking play play it to fucking death on the first week. Like Ducky and Christopher did this season, you know, just um, just play loads of games in the first week, and then I can you know play in the NAF and promote the NAF. Um, That is correct, Yuri Styles, yeah. yeah that's correct. Glorious. Glorious. Yeah. Um yeah, I heard that Mr. Yem and Dem, yeah. VIP Mr. Yem and Dem, I heard that I might be able to get things like that for free. Um Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. S P Q R M C M L X X V I I don't know what that means, but thank you very much. Yeah, Woody's <laughs> Right, I need to think about this because I'm thinking, is it worth hitting hitting the ball or hitting the claw pom? The tackle part of the pommer, because I can just block him, block him, and then hit the ball, can't I? Or I could just block him with a claw pom. I guess he blocks him first, right? And just see what happens. Okay, so now the hit on the ball is is guaranteed if I want it. Alright, you know what? It puts me in a real pickle if I do it. I could just try basing him, blocking him. Also, I'm going in the lion's den if I pile on there. Do I hit take the ball hit? The pylon looks horrible, I think. He can block him. I don't want to pile on there, whatever happens. So I guess because I don't want to pile on at all. I just want to block. Interesting. Um, no idea on the World Cup is coming, no, but it's it's coming at some point. Got a C in GCSE German. I got I got a C I think. Ah, I see. Thank you, Yuri Styles. Um yeah, 
and TLC. Get some digits there. <laughs> oh yeah, the the the, uh, the VI yeah, yeah. XXX. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I knew XL was the Super Bowl XL, wasn't it? it was Super Bowl uh, forty. So I knew L was fifty because of that. So <laughs> Obviously, everyone knows X, V, and I, don't they? I don't know how the MCs and the M's were. Uh, reading and listening. Hmm. And I guess the look, the proper grammar, it was not going to be that important, is it? Like, is it? I don't know. I didn't do Latin, no, I actually, I went to the, uh, I went to a, uh, oh shit, oh shit. I, the, the school that I went to, I went, I knew, I knew he'd get cast if I stuck him out there. He's hard to deal with, isn't he, strength four, but he's armor eight. I mean, okay, it was armor nine, yeah, okay, he actually got the nine as well. That's why I don't like the strength beast, because if you put them in a spot where their strength four is good, their armor eights, they just get fucked on, don't they? Um, yeah, well, the triple XLs was just because of <laughs> triple X more than anything else, wasn't it? Um, unlike triple XL, uh, I did French at school and German at school, um, but yeah, I, I, the, the, I was in the catchment area for the crap school, not the good school. So my pe my mum said that I wanted to do Latin at school. Which is how I got into the good school instead of the bad school. But then I'd never did Latin. So that was good. Um, next season, TLC. Next season. Thank you very much, guys, by the way. Um, so, yeah, next next season, January the 10th, innit? Um, I guess it will all be on the laptop. and Because, you know, I've still got stuff to sort out. Because I, w I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with, you know, going to Germany and that. But now I'm definitely just going to fully move to Germany. So obviously I'm going to, you know, sort some stuff out before I go there. And uh, and then when I go back to Germany, it'll be, you know, like permanent permanent move to Germany. So, um, so yeah, I'll be on, the, be on the laptop till then. Joke's on me for sleeping in class. Is it? Yeah, I did, I did fuck all the things. Oh my god, man. No red job. No need, is there, man? No need. No need. Three cars in four turns. <laughs> There's just no need for this. Some, some fucking stuns with claw. Claw mighty blow and claw palm. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> 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 
Yes, yeah, I am absolutely, I am absolutely going to learn German and this South. Yeah, I know I've got to learn everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely learning German, don't worry about that. Alright, Glorious can get an extra, get an extra emote. Thank you very much. Lads, boys, lads. What could the what could the extra emote be then? Jim Fowl. It's gotta be Jim Fowl, hasn't it? What's Jim Fowl? Double one? Or a red card? Or Okay, good idea to wrestle. I was just looking at I was just looking on the website. Glorious. <laughs> BM time waste. Oh, this is a good little cage now, isn't it? Right, can finally claw pump somebody. This guy, maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wish it was different to any other game I've ever had. <laughs> A Blood Bowl, but it's not. Every single one <laughs> goes exactly the same way. I'm the safest person in the world to snipe. <laughs> Jim Gazin, yeah. It's the worst in the world. <laughs> I know what some of that means actually. I can I can work it out. Um <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> Looking faster when he's sprickens he dodged. <laughs> I got kicked I did French I did French what happened with the French is I did French and German at school but I got kicked off French France because French because I just didn't do half of the test. When we had to do the tests, I thought, I didn't know how to, I wanted to get kicked off because I didn't like French. So I was like, it's going to be tough to, you know, make it believable that I've done crap. So I just didn't do half of the test. And that's how I got a bad score. See, Germans. Yeah, the Orcs are getting a few punches. Felt like I had to put a bit of pressure on though. Despite being down four players. Oh, I did one, did one, guys. Fucking line up. In fact, these, these three were there. I mean, I would nearly put someone back to base them all. They, in retrospect, if I hadn't moved in first, if I put him to base all, then that would have been the best, wouldn't it? Um, but, you know. Don't mention the wall. 
<laughs> I did once, but I think I got away with it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. No, I, I, they were just too they were too far away to do anything this turn, I thought, which they basically were. So that's why I, but yeah, if I'd done it in the right order, I think I would have put that guy marking those through. But then it was keeping his guard away, so Hmm. Just cover you quietly. Just quietly. Choose the boat down. <laughs> Might have a chance of a two turner here. Maybe. Oh, man. Get out of town. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> can't, can't do anything. Meanwhile, there's something. coming out for that for sure doesn't work for the game so that's ideal isn't it levels him up glorious might as well greet it since I've got three turns left Do absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, Yuri Styles, amazing. That is that has got to be one of the funniest things ever. Holy shit. It wasn't a mindless piling on at all. Sergeant LD. The odds are just too good. The odds are literally too good, aren't they? If I had a reroll, I might have gone and based the ball, but then what's the fucking point of that? What am I going to do is just stand there and then... What, get blitzed by Mighty Blow? Don't really like the idea of that. <laughs> Yeah, six into a six. I always like killing players. I feel a little bit of remorse against like Red Joker or Mr. Yemen Dem or whatever, but I'm still going to try to kill players all the time. <laughs> Just the way it is, isn't it? It's blood ball. Wow, you must Pedro Jack, yeah. It's like quit blood ball if you don't win that one kind of thing. I tried to put follow alerts back on today and it didn't work. It's pretty annoying because... There was one month I got 2,500 followers when, when this new fucking app came out, the, the Twitch app. And maybe I shouldn't have piled on there, actually, to be fair. Because you'd have only been able to one dice there, wouldn't you? And then that was actually screening with that guy. So I actually got that guy hit by Mighty Blow. By so, yeah. Yeah, I can actually... Maybe they're fucked up piling them. But the odds are just fucking too good, aren't they? The thing is, the odds are too good to not pile on. That's that's the problem. The stats don't lie. And piling on is just too powerful, of course. Um, it has worked for my opponent so far, yeah. He still scored, so that's okay. So it did the job. Funniest thing I was Delvo phone through by, yeah. Uh, that was just one 
aspect of a sketch though, wasn't it? I mean, it was really good, Van Dell, but I mean, <laughs> even though it's old as fuck and like, it was, that was really brilliant. But I think that whole episode with the Germans was, oh my God, it was amazing. I think Faulty Towers is the best series just because they, they didn't do many, did they? They only did like two series. Whereas, you know, fucking the Del Boy, I don't like Only Fools and Horses that much just because the later series went on too long, didn't they? And just like, kind of got bored of, got bored of it that they fucking wouldn't let it die and just had to make a hundred million series of it. Um, it's the same with fucking the third series of Legal Gentlemen as well. I felt like was shit. And kind of soured me. It's a League of Gentlemen. Right, two turns. Possible. It's crazy how well Larkstar's done. He, he was in OFL, Larkstar. I, I remembered him. And uh, he had Slan in that and did absolutely shit. Um, as you would expect from using Slan. But um, he seemed a decent player, to be fair. At least I know there's not going to be pouring rain for this. Two turns is very doable, isn't it, with Chaos? Especially with the sure hands. Makes it... Oh, God. Doubles on a nobler is always thick skull. I like leader. Yeah, he'll always be remembered, won't he, on, on Blood Bowl 2 as the guy who fucking took flings nearly all the way. Or maybe all the way. He still could, I guess. <laughs> I guess he could win it with flings. But, I mean, I can't see it, but I guess it's possible. So, if I blitz him and go through there, obviously if I blitz him and go through, there's loads of space through the middle. So, the problem is lack of lack of men to be able to fucking do it. Block them there, blitz, I guess just blitz him, but then blitzing him, let's just go through that. I just like the idea of going through the middle now. And do with a block guy, strength four. Three, four, five, six. Double GFI handoff could be a play, couldn't it? If I can make a make a uh, cage here. Yeah, 
blitzing through the middle has got to be the right play, hasn't it? question is whether I just go for receivers or go for the air uh go for the double GFI in the handoff I guess I've got to go for the double GFI in the handoff I'm not sure I like this square now for this push. Because he can put power him down and then hit the ball, can't he? Three, four, five, six, double GFI. It's not good, is it? You can one dice him and then get two dice on the ball and a push. Or he can just. Uh... But then even if he does that, I've got two guys that are in range. So. Fuck it. Generally, the tenth man appears is when the season ends. Getting the score here would be pretty amazing, but whatever happens, is can, there can be a claw palm hit, can't there? He's at 10, maybe 9. I'm at 9, maybe less. Maybe just maybe just using the wizard here would have been would have been a good idea. Bad assist square, wasn't it? He should have assisted here. No, no, it doesn't matter. He's still through. Duh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Go on, one. Wow. Shit. Well, this is going to take some luck, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have done the handoff, but then I'd have had to stay back quite far to to do anything can scatter the ball at least and then do a blitz and then maybe rough though isn't it it's fucking rough
Uh, yes, Kyle Duty, you missed Buckadder. There you go, Wolf Bar. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I got the guard, guard in a good spot there. I don't think it matters, right? Because he can come in. And he can come in. That Miz didn't even need both of those. Oh, I probably didn't need both of those. No, I did. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Holy shit. Well, that right there is something, isn't it? He can blitz him and then assist there, and then he can two dice him. Oh my god, this is outrageous. Power here is, is just glorious. I guess I have to go for the four plus three plus then. Can't risk a scatter, can I? No. Couldn't risk the reroll either, I don't think. Fucking hell. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, let's not discuss it then, please. If it's, if it's, I mean, well, I don't know if you like this. I don't know. I don't. I don't. If subs like enjoy, if people like fucking discussing it, people like discussing it, don't they? I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say it's not like you know arguing about religion or anything, is it? I mean, there's some things that shouldn't be discussed. Obviously, people spoilers shouldn't. People shouldn't discuss spoilers, but um, even a zombie could have done it. That was pretty glorious, wasn't it? Nine versus nine as well with the LOS hits. So there's a chance. Down a warrior's bad. Down him's really bad. And then what's he got? Down, he's down this dirty player. Down a block guard, black orc. That's down a huge. So he's down one really big player, and I'm down one really big player as well. Uh, two, I guess. But then I have the TV. But he's still got his wizard. Also, the good thing about a shitty shoe hands carrier is, he's not that bad if he gets bolted, is it? But not that bad for 250 million budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it, VIP Mr. Yemen? Um, it's like. That's really true. It's much more likely to be a good film if it's got a lower budget, isn't it? Because big budget is it's just all about making money, isn't it? And merchandise and everything. That's, that's it. <laughs> Mark Hamill's pretty good. He was on. He was on Graham Norton. And he was pretty, pretty funny guy. Some good stories. Right. Hopefully now. No offence to Red Joker, but hopefully I just make three cars off these three blocks. <laughs> and uh, and then the wizard shouldn't even be a factor then, should it? Right, this is a perfect setup actually, because he hits him, he hits him, then it's three dice from him. So it's actually pretty much perfect. I think I think if that they're definitely taking a piss. Ooh, an extra bribe. Okay. 
chance of four cars not looking so good now. Oh, he's got guards. I can't do that block. Oh, fuck the balls. Alright, just a two guys there. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Cover the ball a little bit, I guess. Protect the guy. He can make a foul at the end. Show sure hands pick up. It is, yeah. But I mean, to be fair, look if you if you likes if you if you're interested at all in Star Wars, you should have watched it already, shouldn't you? So, um, yeah, it is it is a bit of a dipshit thing to do. I I agree, I agree, Targaryen Tantrum. But I think you know if 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 I get any spoilers from it, I'm not going to be bothered because I should have watched it already. If I cared, if I cared, I would have already watched it, wouldn't I? So, so you know. <laughs> yeah, the Darth Maul. It also gave me and my friends a great, a great slang, a great slang thing to say, which was, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. I'll ask, I'll ask Senai if I should tell you on stream what a Darth Maul, what we call the Darth Maul. We we invented a Darth Maul. Um. As a as a thing, and uh, I don't know if I should say it on stream or not, but it was pretty funny. Well, the first one was episode four, wasn't it? Because now they've they've decided. Ah, this is annoying because I can't push him back into there, can I? I think I just blitz him, just make a blots on him, and then retreat. So I might as well do it with him. He wants to come out of here. And he wants to go out to there. And then he wants to go to there. And then get a nice foul in. If I get sent off, the ball's just way too exposed, isn't it? Wish I had a dirty player here. Wouldn't have made any difference in the end. I tell you what, saying the, the only good thing was the fight scene. Um, I tell you what, I tell you what, if you see the, uh, I'll tell you what, if you see the, uh, there's a fucking thing on YouTube. I can't remember what it, what it, what, what it was like the video on that, but it was fucking hilarious. It was like, it was, it was analyzing the, it was analyzing the fight scenes 
in, you know, the fucking Phantom Menace, and it was pretty funny. It was like, it was so funny, is uh, this guy's review of it and all, and he's like, you know, it was like, swing clumsily. <laughs> make sure that if you, make sure that if you, uh, that, uh, that even if they didn't block, you would still miss. <laughs> And stuff like that. <laughs> Make an exaggerated dodge. Remember, the, the menace must remain phantom. It was really good. Fairly fatal. Yeah. It did look fairly fatal, didn't it? Right, so now we can come down this side. He's kind of given us this side, hasn't he? Don't know if he's done it on purpose or not. But there's a lot of space to work with here. Insta pile on. Nothing. He can go there for the assist, then he can come round to foul. Nice. And then the claw is unfortunately a bit exposed, isn't he? Um. I think he has to go there. The totally phantom menace. Is that the link? Holy shit, that was so good. That was like maybe the best video I've seen on YouTube. I couldn't believe how funny it was. Has a panning on produced a card? I don't think it's produced a fucking armor break, Shawnee. <laughs> VIP Shawnee. I really don't think it's produced a fucking armor break. The fouls have been good though. You know, haven't got sent off and even made a fucking KO just then. So. <laughs> you granting Love actually was a bigger villain than Darth Maul. He was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. But, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? I mean, the good thing is he can't pile on with his with his pommer now. <laughs> the no assist foul. I knew it was coming. Alright, good. I just want to, I just want to knock people off and kill them. I don't have any players left, do I? What the fuck? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight players? Yeah. Fucking hell. How many's he got? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Both got eight. He's got guard there. That's a shame. Would have been good to get the claw mighty blow hit on there, wouldn't it? I'm just wasting it here. Still got to do it though.
protecting the ball not so easy here, is it? <laughs> fouls in. Ah, oh, fuck. That would have been a really nice one to make, wouldn't it? This wizard's heavy on my mind right now. The, yeah, the bolt, the the bolt and fireball are both both heavy on my mind. Yeah, exactly. I've got to got to get forward. It's hard, though, isn't it? Eight versus eight. Um, it's hard to fucking protect the ball at all. Never mind protect against a wizard. Yeah, yeah. See, Arnold, you can tell by the fact I'm making any fouls ever that I've got a bribe. I've got I've got a bribe, and Red Joke has two bribes. I think I only have one left. I think he paid for a bribe. He's only got one left, so he's used one. I think I might have the strength advantage now. Don't know that. And he's still got the guard advantage. <laughs> the Charlie Adams, I don't know who Charlie Adams is. Right, he's, he's opened up the flank, hasn't he, again? After after going back last time, he's opened it up this time. Um, right, he just needs to block it. Huge. Yeah, committed hard at the centre. No, normally I try not to foul. I mean, obviously you've got to foul claw pommers sometimes. You could block him just in an effort to get more people forward. Like, obviously blocking him down and blocking him and blitzing him is pretty good. Yeah, okay, I'll just do that. No, no pile on. Unbelievable. Piece of shit. Let's go now. I'm 
fuck it. At least it occupies a player, doesn't it? Just standing up. Alright, Charlie Adam. Is he around at the moment, is he, or is he just an old guy? Yeah, it is a good idea to have a dirty player. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to always have a dirty player, just against piling on guys. I mean, just against piling on. It's worth having it just for piling on, to be honest. Yeah, it's a piling on deterrent. Yeah. It's like having the wizard, isn't it? The wizard, you don't have to get a bolt to, for it to have a huge impact on a drive. If I hadn't taken so many cards myself, I might have gone for an earlier score. I'm not confident of stopping the score with only eight players potentially. And he, he could have he could have ten, couldn't he? If his three could come back and he could have ten. Could be ten versus eight. So I don't really want to score before turn eight. Yeah, it's it's good just for the threat of it. Yeah, it's, it, the deterrent is is yeah exactly the th the threat of the piling, the threat of the dirty player affects how they play, doesn't it? It's like how frenzy don't have to serve loads of people with frenzy against a good coach. Just the threat of being able to is, is good for all the time, isn't it? All one in nine. Glorious, glorious one in nine there. Alright. So first things first is he's gonna go there. Can't actually get to his claw guy, so he's gonna have to claw pump. I guess I don't get greedy now, one standing oh well okay he's killed anyway. But even if I hadn't, I think I need standing players at this point. Maybe I could agree to that actually. Maybe I could have GFI'd back. Maybe I should have GFI'd back. I can use the reroll on this one dice and now though. Don't even need it. Huge. I don't know, Roy Keane though, Roy Keane's one against fucking... <sighs> that guy was horrific, wasn't it? Can't remember his name. Face the ball. Hello. 
Yeah, Alfingi Howland, yeah. Yeah, that was the worst, wasn't it? I think that was the worst thing. I think that's the dirtiest fucking thing ever. I get to hit the killer now, finally. Oh man, everyone's getting KO'd. I've got to score this turn though, haven't I? Maybe he'll bolt. No, maybe. Because I've got to score now because I can, you know, it's down to 1 in 9 at best, isn't it? But. I've got to go, I've also got to go for the hit on the claw. Ooh, dead. Random, random block guard guy. Okay, Apple worked. Can't miss double skulls, so I just have to score them this time. Oh god, yeah, 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 that was really bad study, yeah. That was really bad. Oh yeah, that was really bad. Yeah, Mellow Gold, yeah, that was that was really bad. Fuck yeah. Okay. Man, down too many players. I guess he is slow though, isn't he? So he's only got a few blitzers. I'm just going to have to put the Warriors on the LOS. Just so that these guys can come down. To kind of like vaguely do some kind of formation. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want them based by like, you know, random guys. But he hasn't got that many. He's got to pick up with a Lino, and then he's got four scoring threats. But he's got to put three on the LOS. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think six would be the optimal. The optimal square. One, two, three, four. GFI, GFI, yeah. And then this is the line that he wants to stand on to score himself, isn't it? Seven versus eight. <sighs> no, it doesn't really matter about that being a screen, does it? Yeah, it does actually. Right, at least it won't be a loss. At least that's something. I think I should have uh, tried to stall out another turn. Maybe so. I think I should have maybe re-rolled the the hit on the with the claw pawn and tried to stall out another turn. Probably would have been the correct way. Because you just can't afford to give people a chance to two turn, can you? Not if they're good anyway. <laughs> yeah, 
fucking he's that stamp it. Yeah, that stamp was outrageous. And then and then blackmailed the FA. Yeah, that was unbelievable. That was that was definitely the worst. The worst thing Shearer's done, and he's elbowed a lot of people in his lifetime. Ah, changing weather. Oh well, not a bad kick actually. That really makes it pretty tricky for him, doesn't it? You've got to throw passes, probably, or hand off and pass, or whatever. Oh, there's a chance. Cause there's a chance. He's got he's got one extra player, and he's got two re rolls, and he's got you know he's got he's got players in the pitch, hasn't he? There's always a chance. It's not not a ridiculously low chance either. Like the chance of scoring is never that ridiculously low. <laughs> yeah, if only he had no throw. Yeah, the wizard as well. I was trying not to remind him of that. The thought, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got the wizard. So the good thing is that this has drawn him into the in the middle, hasn't it? It was only a square, so I can can blitz one and base the other and stuff and get some basings on there. Absolutely got a chance of touchdown. It's never like it's never that bad odds, is it? That's the that's the like kind of sad slash annoying thing. The odds are never that bad. Even without the legendary orc throw. Three plus two dice the ball, and I think that would make his his touchdown almost impossible. So we put him in there, and then get a push here. Maybe? I don't know if it's a push or a pass. Dodge GFI. 2D the ball. It's going to make it really hard, isn't it? Just trying to just cover the cover the threat. You can use a wizard and and uh, take care of that. So these guys are based up. I think this is the right play. Save my save my re-roll all match for it. There you go.
my fucking god. Might as well apple it then, eh? <laughs> oh, I should have followed that guy, shouldn't I? Should have followed this. Should have followed this up. I was thinking I didn't want him to dodge through that through there, but. I couldn't really, I couldn't really stop him get, getting that, you know, with the blitzing the receiver and stuff. <sighs> Nine, he hasn't had to use a reroll in any of this, isn't it? And one in nine there. Holy shit. Phew. No, no thought because he had to do a pass and a handoff in the same turn, so better to do the pass there and then the handoff without a GFI. Whew. <laughs> it was badly hurt and death and fixed death by replay. Oh, thank God. GG, Red Joker. Yeah, Whew. that was a tight one, wasn't it? Jimmy looks out a win, good for you. <laughs> Thanks. 23 AV breaks to 11, but actually actually ended up with less men at the end of the match, right? It was 7 versus 8. So despite despite all those arm breaks, which obviously made made the scoreline possible, um, it was still a lot more blocks as well. And a lot more fouls, I think. He made quite a few fouls once he got that prior. If Yeah, no, I think he needed need a GFI as well. Um, I think he needed he needed a GFI because he only went six forward. So it would have been it would have been a GFI. He went six. Another <laughs> savage end. Nah, it's not the end, is it? That's not the end. Oh yeah, I had a dead warrior, but then loads of money, so it's all right. And piling on for that guy, that's pretty good. I can't go jump up or dodge either, I don't think. Could almost go guard, but I think piling on's too good. Oh wow, Randy, if I go, got the touchdown on the MVP to level, that's pretty good. Wish I'd roll the double on him, actually. Did <laughs> glorious take your hands then look the double. That's perfect. Um, yeah, almost certainly gonna go uh, piling on on him, and then try to train up this this warrior that I'm gonna buy to be block guard. Um, yeah. Oh, second with 91. Yeah, but if if you just play 40, like if you've got the time to play 40, then um, then you know 40 is going to do better, isn't it? Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you don't know what that fucking car was there, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.